everyone sara cooks for you today is a very delicious mutton curry called mutton kola puri to begin making this i have used about 1/4 cup of oil in a pressure cooker and to this we'll add about 3 to 4 dry red chilies you can add more or less according to your taste and to this we'll also add two finely chopped onions This is a very flavorful and it's a very spicy mutton curry but uh, you can always adjust the spice level according to your taste you can reduce the amount of chilies that are being used here to this we we'll add a uh, 3 teaspoon of freshly ground ginger garlic paste freshly ground ginger garlic always enhances the taste of any dish you make so any special dish you're making Don't forget to add in freshly ground ginger garlic paste. And to this, we'll add in some spices. I'm adding about one four teaspoon turmeric powder, half a teaspoon nutmeg powder. I've used the fresh uh, nutmeg for this, grated it, and I'm adding it, and half a teaspoon of red chili powder and some salt to taste. We'll fry this well. We'll roast this masala for a few seconds. and then we'll add in the mutton pieces i've used 750 grams of mutton these are uh, this is fresh mutton with bone so using a uh, mutton with bone adds to the taste of the curry of the mutton curry we'll fry this mutton we'll roast the mutton and the masala together for about 2 to 3 minutes before we add in the water Let's add about one glass of water so that the meat gets pressure cooked really well. You can add more or less water according to the toughness of the meat. We'll pressure cook this for about eight to ten minutes on a medium flame, and in the meantime, we'll start roasting the spices for the kola puri masala. I've added one bay leaf, four cloves. about 4 green cardamoms 2 black elaichi or cardamom 1 inch of uh, cinnamon about 4 to 5 red chili 1 javatri or mace one flower of that so make sure the flame is really low while you roast this otherwise they get burnt really very fast we'll dry roast them on a the medium low flame and now i'm adding half a teaspoon of peppercorns we'll roast them on a low flame now let's add in 1 tablespoon of white sesame seeds or til and 1 tablespoon of poppy seeds or khaskhas it's also called khaskhas so we'll roast this again make sure that it doesn't get burnt and now we'll add in about half to 3/4 cup of grated fresh coconut so we need to roast all these dry ingredients really well before we grind it to a, into a fine paste for the kola puri masala don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also share and like my videos and let me know in the comment section if you would like uh, to uh, like me to show you some other new recipes so the masala is ready and now i'm going to grind this to a fine paste with some water in the meantime the meat was pressure cooked and this is the masala i ground it to a fine paste with some water and i'm adding some of it into the mutton curry please do add this according to your taste because this is a very strong and flavorful masala and it's a bit spicy as well so you can add this according to your taste make sure to taste the curry and add more or less of the masala and the, and if you have any leftover masala you can store it in the refrigerator in the freezer in an airtight container i'm adding in some finely chopped coriander leaves and then now we'll allow this gravy to cook with the masala for some time cover it and allow it to cook on uh, low flame for about 10 minutes and the kolapuri mutton curry is ready to be served 
As you can see, it's a very simple recipe and it is really very delicious and flavorful. You can serve it with your favorite rotis, rice, naans or parathas. Do try this recipe and let me know if you liked it.